What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're getting a close-up look at all of the color variations of modern McLarens. Let's start things off from the F1 and go all the way to the brand new 720S. The McLaren F1 GTR came in six different color variations. We'll start it off with the Cars of the Decades variation, the 90s Cars of the Decade, and I really, really like this variation. I like how the wheels kind of stand out, these nice five-star wheels, they're staggered. I like the colors and the dashes and stuff on this one. We've got the Hot Wheels logo on the front, and as you can see, we've got that center driving position right in front view right there. Looks great. From the back, we've got the nice wing on it. Great looking color variation of this one. And if you are interested in this one, these ones retail for probably around the $20 mark on eBay. So we'll put this one aside. And the next four are the variations from the Hot Wheels Speed Machines series, which was done way back from about 2010 to 2013. And this is one of them, and I love these wheels on here. These wheels, I wish they made in more modern cars that they have come out with, but unfortunately, we haven't seen them for a while. This one is still a great looking variation, similar color to the cars of the decades variation. And you can see the detail on the back. We've got the F1 logo right there. We've got that nice wing on there, but this is a fantastic looking one. Center driving position as well. All right, we'll put that one down. And then next up, we've got this one right here, and we've got the nice different wheels on this one with the kind of gold lip on there, the black stripe down the middle. We got a tan interior on this one, and this one also came in the Cars of the Decades variation. And the Cars of the Decades ones, uh, all of them except the red one, which you'll see in a second, will run you around the $40 to $50 mark. Um, and this one right here, this is probably the cheapest one that I found from the Cars of the Decades variation. It's probably a little bit less than the $40 mark. Really depends on the time of year that you buy them as well. These do fluctuate in price quite often, but this silver and orange variation with the GTR logo and those nice wheels looks fantastic. Great looking car. And this one is also the fastest one down the track. I've done a bunch of track testing and this one seems to be the fast one. And we've got the center driving position again with the black interior on this one. Nice tampo on the headlights as well. All right, we'll put that one down and this is gonna be your most expensive one. This is the Nick Mason GTR. It's got the red and the yellow wheels and oddly enough, uh, McLaren just came out with the 570S MSO variation in this colorway in real life and it looks really cool, but I really, really like this one. This one is fantastic. This one will run you probably brand new around $100 to $150, um, sometimes even more than that. If you can find a loose variation, it might be cheaper, but great looking car. Really, really like this one. I've got one brand new in package and I've got this loose one as well, and it's one of my favorites. There it is from the top. All right, we'll put that one down. And lastly, for the F1 GTR, we've got the 2017 release of the F1 GTR in the black colored variation with the newer wheels, gray out wheels. And the big difference on this one as well is that it's got a metal spoiler on there. So all the spoilers on the other ones are all plastic. And this one, they came out with a metal variation. So we'll actually grab this car right here. You can also see it's slightly different sizing and spoiler as well, but I do like the metal variation of the spoiler on it, and this new black one is fantastic. I've collected a bunch of them just because it was my favorite casting and favorite release of last year. It's got that red interior on there. We got the gray underneath. All right, let's head on over to the McLaren P1s. And here we have the McLaren P1. The P1 came in eight different color variations for this casting. It's definitely been a popular one. We'll start it off with the first one that came out, and this is that like burnt orange color gray wheels. And the P1 is all set in race mode. So it's got the spoiler all raised up on there. It's got that active arrow spoiler. I really, really like this casting though. I love the center exhaust on it. The P1, definitely one of the best looking hypercars of the modern era. 
There it is, great tampo on the front. Great looking from the top and on the side. All right, we'll put that one down. We'll go to the yellow variation. And this is probably my favorite color variation. Yellow is my favorite color. So I'm really liking the yellow P1 and very similar wheels as most of them have these wheels in a few different color variations. And there's uh, two other ones with different wheels and then we've got the real rider ones. So there it is, great looking. Again, nice tampo on the front for the headlights and on the back we've got the nice spoiler and race mode and the exhaust that comes out. All right, we'll go to the next one is the blue variation. There it is, it's got the same wheels but this time they're in chrome, blue, black siding on there. Again, great looking tampo on it and the nice spoiler from the top and on the back as well. I think this blue is a fantastic looking color, really shows the car nicely. All right, we'll go on to the next one. We've got the silver variation. Silver variation has the same chrome wheels on there. And silver is a great color to show the lines of a car. I think it shows the lines of any car the best. The silver color variation. Again, that nice exhaust on the back and the great looking tampo on the front. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite color variation of any of the cars that you're seeing today of all the McLarens. And this one is, I believe from the Cars and Donuts series, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's what it's from. And this one has the real rider tires on there and definitely different wheels. And this one is more of an all metal variation, metal bottom. It's a lot heavier than the other ones that have the plastic bottom. So a little bit more expensive variation and some cool looking tampo on the front of it, headlights a little bit more detailed, and then the back, the exhaust is, looks like uh, we can't even see the exhaust on there, so that's odd. Didn't notice that before, but the exhaust is more blacked out and it looks like a little bit more of a diffuser on this one. So slightly different variation, even the top of it, it's slightly different variation from the other ones, but still fantastic looking in this orange color. And next up, we've got this one. This one was from the Forza set. And it's just, uh, it's the same as the mainline ones. It's got those same wheels, just a different color, the gray variations of them. And this one looks pretty good. Has the Forza logo on the front, the 51. And very, very nice. And this one, the same thing. You can't really see the exhaust on the back of it. So maybe the newer variations, you really can't see the exhaust much. That's definitely something I didn't notice, but that's pretty cool that we see that now. All right, we'll go to this one right here. And this one was released last year. And this was with the then and now series of the McLaren F1 GTR, the black variation of the F1 GTR. So this one, so there it is. There's your then and now series of these cars, the F1 GTR in black, and then the black P1 with the red all on it, gray wheels. And this one you can see the nice exhaust on there. So they did put some detail on there. Even a little bit more detail looks like around the lights on this one as well. And it's a nice looking casting. I like the red highlights of it, red interior on there as well. Very, very cool looking. All right, last but not least, this is the most recent release. This is the white McLaren P1, and this one's released in 2018. It was in the last case that just came out, I believe it was the H case. And this one has the black stripe on the front of it, and it's white and black. And this one has those five-star wheels. So uh, this is one of two variations. The most two recent releases have these same five-star gray wheels on there. And again, in race mode and from the back, you can see the exhaust on this one. And this one, you can't really see the lights kind of highlighting around as much as you did on the one with the black and red, the previous version. But great looking car. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the McLaren 720S. Here it is, the brand new McLaren 720S. 720S, and this one is in the burnt orange color, the same as the original McLaren P1 Hot Wheels release. Great looking variation of the 720S, and these wheels we haven't seen on any of the newer McLarens, so definitely cool to see those wheels on there, and I for sure think we will see more colors of this car in the future. It's a great looking casting, great looking detail tampo on the front of it, and on the back it looks looks fantastic as well. So definitely watch out for more variations of this one. But again, let me know in the comments down below, which is your favorite McLaren. I'll grab 
three of them here. How about those ones right there? So we've got the 720S, we've got the P1, and the F1 GTR. Those are your three modern variations of McLarens from Hot Wheels. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite, as well as which one was your favorite color variation. Thanks a lot for watching this one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. What's up, Peak Timers? This is your boy, Phil, from Peak Time Racing. I just want to thank you all for watching this video. Now, I just want to make sure you guys are fully aware of the Peak Time Racing brand, which consists of all three of these channels right here. We've got Peak Time Racing, which is the channel you're on right now. We've got Peak Time Vlogs, which is my vlogging channel where you can find more stuff about my daily life, my family, and a lot more behind the scenes things, as well as Peak Time TV, which is my gaming channel, mixed in with a little bit of a storyline channel with Hot Wheels, some really cool stories and Hot Wheels stuff in there as well. I just wanna make sure you guys don't miss out on a video that I post, so be sure to subscribe to all three of those channels. I will be doing a monthly giveaway, and all you have to do to enter is post on any one of my videos and any one of my channels that you are subscribed to all three of the Peak Time Racing branded channels. I'll be picking one lucky winner each month at random who will receive a prize package of Peak Time Racing branded things as well as Hot Wheels. Thanks again for watching this one. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.